Hello. Today's study of Jewish philosophy, we're going to look at the idea of prophecy and how prophecy works. How does the process happen that a person gains nevuah, prophecy? So at first, a person has to be an expert, like we explained in the last Jewish philosophy video, in just about every area of Torah. That includes Tanakh, that includes Gemara, that includes Halacha. They really have to be what today would be considered the greatest person of their generation. Only then, after they've perfected their character and they no longer even have a desire to sin, can the person reach the level of Nevua. Once a person reaches that level, they understand the esoteric areas of the Torah, then at that point, an amazing thing happens. The Ruach HaKodesh, this like uh, you know, force drops onto them and they become a totally different person, a person that they never were before. That's how the process of prophecy happens. Those are the first steps. As the prophet gains in their prophecy, so then different things begin to happen. They then convulse and they have, uh, they have sort of like a spasms and it's painful and it takes days to recover from. But first and foremost, they have to be that perfected individual and then that Ruach HaKodesh comes onto them. They become a completely different person than they ever were before. Shalom.